Hi, I saw a debate recently between Christopher Hitchens, an atheist, and Frank Turek, a Christian apologist. In the debate, Frank Turek listed the following qualities of God. He's spaceless, timeless, immaterial, personal, powerful, intelligent, moral, creator. Now, I read all these off quite quickly, and this is an impressive list. He also said he would prove that God had all of these characteristics. Well, I started thinking, I'm an engineer, and some of this really didn't make sense to me. So let's look at the attributes. The first three, spaceless, timeless, and immaterial, are really just negations. They're telling us what God is not. He's not operating within space. He is spaceless. He's not operating within time. He's timeless. And he's immaterial, which means he does not consist of mass or energy. But instead of going through all the rest, let me just jump right to the aspect of powerful. Again, as an engineer, I know what power is. In fact, power is work over time. But let's break it down a bit further. Work is force times distance. Force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration is velocity over time. Now I know it's change in velocity over the change in time, but let's keep it simple. And velocity is the change in distance over time. Now if you put all of these together, power equals mass times distance squared over time cubed. Now if it doesn't seem obvious to you at this point, you can see the problem. Mass but he's immaterial. Distance, which is an aspect of space, but God is spaceless. And time is just time, but God is timeless. So it's an immediate contradiction. All of the qualities that are required for power, God does not have. So in this contradiction, it proves right off the bat that this definition of God cannot stand. Thanks.